Sup Shredders, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we are doing our final round of uh, tracks for Christian Stutzig at least for the foreseeable future. We've got uh, six six tracks today. Switch over to here. The first of these is Hey Girl. Um, some of these tracks I think are Christian by himself and others include other musicians and we'll talk about that as we go along. But we'll listen through each of these six tracks from start to finish you're going to hear what we think starting with Hey Girl. Let's go. And by the way, all of these songs are available on Christian Stutzig's Bandcamp if you want to check that out. Hey Hang on, we'll go a little bit, we'll go a little bit back. Hey oh, cool. That was a fun drum fill, and I would have missed that if I had like, not gone to the start. That's why you want to listen from the start of a song, you know? Got some acoustic. Acoustic pop rock here. Okay. Got an interesting texture to vocals. Lovely tones of those acoustics, though. Lots of change throughout this. You know, we're not sticking with one theme and continuing. We've got segmented sections. Nice and clear and easy to follow as a listener. I'm wondering if we could have panned the vocals like 30 degrees each way just to make them sound a little bit bigger in the mix. Like they sound great and I love the harmony. Um, just we could have, we, we had more room I think in the center of the stereo field to kind of make them a bit more present. Aside from that though, like that's that's not necessarily a criticism. It's just something I can see for next time. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying it really. I'm enjoying the song a lot so far. It's really upbeat, positive, cheerful song that I kind of needed on a Monday morning. So thank you. Hey girl, I'm waiting for you. Excellent. I love the consistency of the eighth note groove on the drums as well. They're just driving along, dude. Having the last part of that bridge go into the chorus like that with that transition is a smart move. It's just a free flowing sort of like easy passage in and it's really smart stuff. Yep, great unison notes there. Well, not unison notes. There, there, there's an interlude an inter or an interval. There's an interval between them. I think they're, they're harmonizing in thirds or something like that. So that's why it's so positive, dude. Because you got those major third intervals, right? Again, the drums, I like the drums as well because when I mentioned that they're driving, that driving is obviously a part of a, a, a journey, right? So it insinuates that, um, you know, Christian uh, would walk a thousand miles for this person and that's that makes a lot of sense with both the imagery and the music video. Cool. Good job putting a solo here. You don't need solos, but like having a solo section in this part, once we've gotten the story there, it's just a nice way to fill in time and give the listener something a bit different, you know? That was a sensational solo, really well voiced. Really, um, that's a technical one, yeah, especially those part that part of the end with the sweeps. Smart move, dude. Good job getting a clean take of that. This is probably one of my favorite songs from Kristen Stutzig. Probably one of my favorites, I think. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? 
Hey girl, I'm waiting for you. There was absolutely no filler in there. Christian nailed it. There's not a single thing I change about that. I mean, I know I mentioned putting the vocals a little bit wider in the mix, but that's just me being greedy. Sensational stuff, like truly. Sensational stuff. We've got track number two here. A friend featuring Juliana Misty. Uh, live video, but Juliana. Awesome. Track number two, let's go. Go back a little bit with this one as well. Those drums sound really, really present in the mix and among the strings and the guitar parts. Um... I walked down that empty road. It was a long, long way. She's sensational, dude. And she's recording through a Yeti mic. The, the sound quality, man. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's great work on that take. I was asking you if you want to stay. But sometimes I have to let you, let you go. It's nice that uh, Christian can work with other musicians and create some tracks that truly pop. Like I've heard like the, the Christmas tracks that I reviewed for for Christian the other day were fantastic. Music he can do it with with people or without. He's he's the class act, man. Effortless vibrato there, dude. And that piano line again, that ethno groove works really well with the drums. They're syncing in time. Um, you've got that quarter note accent on there. And, you know, Juliana is singing these whole note parts with the vibrato and the nice consistency of these notes. And it's just a great combination of different vibes going on. Sometimes I think of you so much that I almost believe this golden heart happened to me very explorative with these vocal melodies here i think for the most part they're working really well some of them are a bit spicy but they resonate and resolve in the end but i couldn't stop it that you pass us by and i hope to see you again someday It's nice to have that extra bar in there going before the chorus. Just gives the listener a chance to prepare themselves for that next talk section. Um, it's also unexpected a lot of the time as usually musicians write song groups of four bars. So it's a good, smart choice. Okay, so this is a friend and it's talking about how they had a relationship that was it was great. They both valued it, but they just were on different journeys in their lives and they couldn't stay together in the end. They 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 had to depart. And it's kind of a sad sounding one, but Juliana with the way she's emoting in it sounds as if um she's she's handling it maturely. I like these backing vocals as well, how they're more of a pad-like effect, and I, I enjoy how that's contrasting with her more straightforward vo lead vocals. The combination of elements in this mix is fantastic. 
can hear that bass guitar in there. Really subtle, but fits really well. And guitar in there as well in the center of the stair field. Oh, that's sad. That's sad, man. That sounded like a really authentic vocal performance from um, Juliana. And Christian provided some fantastic uh, backing instrumentation to that. Great combination of elements there. Really happy with that. Good job. Now that's two for two as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm concerned, that's two for two. We got Fairy Tale. Ah! Oh! Vocals by Juliana mixed by Fabian. Fairy Tale original. Cool, we're just keeping going with the bangers, man. Let's keep it up. Let's go, 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 go. It's instantly got an ABBA vibe to it. I've instantly got that vibe with the vocals plus the piano ballad -esque kind of stuff that's going on here. She goes so effortlessly into a head voice there. Again, I I prefer the previous mix that we had. This sounds a little bit sharper, but it could be a different style of music again. It could be deliberately like the kind of Abbasque kind of vibe I've got I heard going on earlier, but um still a good mix. It's not like it's mixed poorly, it's just a subjective thing. And it gets worse day by day and we go to that minor shift there and it's like, oh damn, things are not as they seem. This fairy tale is potentially not going to have a happy ending, you know? Oh my goodness. This is a guitar, isn't it? I thought it was a piano for some reason. I'm, st I'm sorry, dude. Apparently it's one of those days. Oh no, there is a piano in there. There's a piano and a guitar in there, never mind. Extra bar there. I hope that Christian Stutzig is still working with Juliana. She's a fantastic singer. If she isn't in a band, she should be. Like, and I'm not trying to be nice or weird about it. Like, legitimately, she's good. She's still she she look while she does look confident here. I I get the feeling that she's still developing as a vocalist, but she's off to a fantastic start, dude. You gotta you gotta keep hold of the people who do well with the musical situations like don't let go of the people who you have the best best jam sessions with you know what i mean Yeah, unrealistic expectations of that, you know, unrealistic expectations of the whole romance and fairy tale vibe. I, I get it. Yeah, 
Yeah, the drums do sound like that. Not the drums. The, the piano does sound like it's counting down to a unhappy sort of bittersweet situation here. Um, another strong performance though by Juliana or anyone else involved in this. I'm, I again, I'm, I'm happy with the mix and everything like that. It's just a different sort of coloration and texture to it than what we had previously, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We have those strings bowing us out a little bit, which is which is an interesting choice to have the strings bow us out like that, considering we haven't. We have we had the strings much. We might have had it in the chorus section. Again, it was nice to have the vocals. Not just telling a story, but also harmonizing with them, so with the backing vocals and having that more pad-like effect there. It's it's great duality there. It's, it's a sense of a real um, a core understanding of how to layer those vocal melodies and get everything harmonizing well in the mix. But yeah, that's three, three for three, man. Three for three. Excellent work. Track number four. So much better. So much better. Add to that acoustic steel string guitar kind of vibe. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're so far away, but you're only a thought away. I had an idea. I paint your face on a piece of paper. Again, Christian's vocals suit the acoustic guitar vibe incredibly well. These arpeggiated chords, he's just got a melody that he's set with and content with, and it's just resonating beautifully. I'm lonely in my living room, it would be so much better to be with you than we could do something together, and I think how nice it would be. I think that, like, while I appreciate the visual that we're having here, I feel like to have Christian Stutzik actually playing this on, like, a deck chair on the beach, looking out over the harbour would be... It'd, it'd just be exactly what this needed, you know? What you could actually do from music video idea, and this is me getting real cocky about it, because, I, you know, I have no real business saying this as a music reviewer, but you could, like, have one chair for Christian, and then one chair with no one else sitting in it. And you just film the entire video like that. And it's like, this chair is for you, you know what I mean? It's like you're with me now, like we've always known each other. And then like maybe it could zoom, I know that I'll, I'll get back to the review in a moment, but like you can zoom into the chair because you haven't shown what's on the chair and people are wondering what's going on, you know? And then you've got like a photo of the person or something like that. I know that's cheesy as hell, but I mean, like, it, walk and remember it, could, it could work, I don't know. Feeling you gave me. I close my eyes. Great I melody there. Smell your sense. See you smile at me. And when I open my eyes, I still have this feeling inside. He's matching the te the emotional textures and the uh, of what he's playing in the harmony there with his voice. He's not charismatic and outward and vibrant. It, there's a sense of warmth and understanding there, but it's not a super happy experience. I still have this feeling there's that sense of loss, you know. Don't give up that hope One day you'll stand on front of me And until then I will keep that good feeling Inside of me Nice vocal fry it there will be Sick, so dude If I can finally hold your hand I wonder how you're doing now What you're probably doing right now Great, great seventh or a ninth chord there. Really bright. Those high notes are a nice addition to that corporation going on there. How we're messing with those upper, upper melodies. 
You didn't really need much more than this with this track, did you? It was enough for the vocals and the guitar, and it's nice that Christian is allowing the guitar to have some space in the mix. Sitting lonely in my living room It would be so much better to be with you And we could do something together And I think how nice it would be How nice it would be to be better with you. So much better to be with that person when you're reminded of everything about them and you have that sense of longing for them but you can't have them, it's rough. Maybe you have the good feeling too Cause I'm pretty sure a good feeling will lead us together I just I just I think that we could have just let the track finish on that last note. Obviously, again, not trying to tell Christian how to write his music, but I feel like you could have just let the vocals not had that volume panning there because it sounded like we were fading out there. Just let, let the note hang. Just, just let the note hang. Let there be that as a finish. Let there be some error after it and let it finish. Great. So much better by Christian Stutzig. Um, yeah, the, the title, initially I was like, wait, are we better off without that person? But no, we, I think we would be better off with that person and we're hoping that they can get back together. The Lone Man with the Guitar is a trope that a lot of us are familiar with, but at the same time I think that Christian does it justice here. It doesn't come across as cheesy, it comes across as Christian actually going through some healing by making this track, and I think it's a fantastic choice to put that into music, release it, you know? Um, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Smart choice. Music is meant to be healing. Music is an artistic expression to learn from it and develop from it as human beings. There's nothing wrong with showing some vulnerability. It's what's ma It's so important to do that so that we grow. We got Christian Stutzig, Spell of Love Now. Listen to my new Heartbreak song. Christian Stutzig featuring Stefan Genesis, Spell of Love. Let's go. Let's do this. Track five. Oh, I'm liking that, uh, that tension in that fourth chord there. Was that like a diminished or like a flat f minus seven flat five or something? An ocean full of emotions, something you can grasp with your mind. It's a whole thing of the heart. I'm right back at your side. You know how much you mean to me. Similar vibe to what we have with the previous track, isn't it? It's very sad. I totally think we could have had some like the distorted guitars and drums come in here. It would have been such a nice contrast between the verse and the chorus. You could have like a wall of noise, you know, like It doesn't have to be like metal, but like noise rock or something like that. Nice harmony there. I like how we're flicking, we're messing around with the tail ends of our vocal melodies now to kind of keep them, uh, keep them interesting. Our fire's burning out. We have to drink the bitter potion. Our love was deeper than the deepest ocean. When I try to break the curse, it gets even worse. The spell of love of the book of life. Sheeps. I wish it had hit both of us. Or goats. Sheeps or goats. Two steps back, my lot of reason turned black. You lock my heart in the box. The key swings on the clocks. I see your rainy summer day. The clouds are 
passing by I can see your face when I close my eyes It does sound like a heartbreak song to be fair though, it does. I wonder if this has anything to do with fairy tale. I like the the talking about bitter potions, and our love was de deeper than the deepest oceans. You know, I, I like I like that. It's interesting imagery there. Good, good move bringing the intensity of the vocals up here as a smart move. I, I, I think you could do two versions of this track. Going back to that musical refrain, that intro riff, smart move there. Going back to where we came from. Cool, dude. Cool. Yeah, I got no complaints. I'm happy with that. Spell Love by Christian Stutzig featuring, who was it featuring? Featuring Stefan Jeshis. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it does sound like a terrible time. It's just coming to terms with the fact that the relationship is over and, you know, you've loved and lost and the spell is the spell is gone. The spell is the spell has lost hold of you, you know? Or maybe the spell doesn't let go even if you love someone but can't be with them because of the fact that it's permanent and you're never quite the same person after. I'm not sure, but I enjoyed it nonetheless. I didn't enjoy the suffering. I just enjoyed like the musicality of it, the vocal performances there. Sensational, L lovely exploration of those uh, pentatonic and sort of blues scale-ish notes, as well as what we had with the traditional major and minor arpeggios and all that. Uh, but the black and white friends, lovely Sarah. Um, my understanding is is that this is Christian and also Andre. Great, they're friends. Let's go. Let's do it. That's a lot more upbeat, isn't it, for lovely Sarah? It's a lyric video, which is kind of dope. Have we had one of those yet? I think we mostly had either like cameras on the singers or like we've had footage, you know? Okay, nice and cool response for these guitars to the vocals. Okay. Kinda this kinda sick, eh? I kinda I kinda like this. It's kind of gen generous how they've got the lyrics just here. They slow pan them so you can really take it in, you know? You don't miss the story in this lyric video. Got a Phil Collins this kind of vibe, doesn't it? Yeah, that 80s production to his vocals. It's slick, dude.
This is mixed quite well. I appreciate what's happening with the guitars panned to the sides and the drums. They're nice and punchy. What kind of electric guitars have we got there? How have we, how have we done those electric guitars? I believe him. Thumps, no dude. Great chord note groove to these drums. Lots of space here for those leads to come in and just to appreciate the musical back into the story. As a cool drum fill as well, I wasn't expecting that. I love it and you'll see, oh, trust me, my angel, lean on me. Okay. We've got a wide variety of stuff from Christian Stutzik today and friends. I'm back to that majorish kind of theme there for the fade out. We love our fade outs, dude, but in this one, it makes sense. If you're gonna have an instrumental outro, fade outs totally work fine in my opinion. But yeah, that's effectively our six tracks today, our various tracks from Christian Stutzig. Because this is the conclusion. I'll just turn my camera on. You know, so so obviously, like, we've gone through the stories of each of the songs individually, I think. But like, we had themes of, like, love and loss and heartbreak and romance and the, the, the spell and magic of it all. And how people expect relationships to be, like, uh, fairy tales and uh, lots of that kind of stuff. And I think a lot of people, a lot of us are going to be able to relate to the story and appreciate it. Um, there were, the, the stories individually were great, they were unique stories, you know. Um, even like the fourth and fifth track where they were very similar in regards to the whole, um, in, in, in regards to the whole, you know, struggle. Oh no, 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 because like, um, you know, so much, so much better was about, um, it would be so much better if they were together. And then like, Fell of Love was about them, uh, no, no, they're, they're all separate, they're all unique tracks, it's great. It's great. The vocal performances um, through each of these different songs were strong. I obviously like Juliana's vocals as well as uh, Andre's and this one were great. Um, we also had um, Stefan and some of them. Do we have anyone else? No, I think Christian sung the rest if I'm not mistaken. The vocals um, told us the story as well and they felt appropriate to the subject matter as well as the harmonies and the track and the overall arrangement of it. I'm happy with what I heard, for, especially from my vocalist like Juliana again. Christian did a great job and everyone else did well as well. The structure of the tracks were traditional sort of like instrumental like intro outro or you had some spoken outros occasionally some sung outros but you definitely had those verses of course occasionally you had a bridge section but mostly verse and choruses and i don't really think you needed to keep it much more complicated than that especially in this traditional kind of like sick rock pop kind of stuff it's 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 great um especially with those tracks where we just had the guitar and the vocals you know or just the piano and the vocals you know it makes it more digestible if you don't get too progressive with the structure and arrangement of it the musical motifs for each track were uh, felt appropriate to the stories that were being told and the instruments that we featured such as, you know, the guitar parts, the drums, the bass, pianos, string parts occasionally, um, they, they all made sense, you know. The, the performances were competent and consistently competent throughout. There was didn't appear to be a note out of place. Um, there were some spicy harmonies we had in the vocal sections occasionally, but I think how, you know, even though we had some extended harmonies in the instrumental parts, for the most part, I was really happy with um, how the overall harmonies worked. 
the drum grooves and everything were sometimes simple like with just the chord note grooves we had a lot of time with tracks like chorus of lovely sarah for example but then occasionally we did some drum fills and other tracks and occasionally we just had no drums at all which i think suited the vibe especially it made more room for the other instruments in the mix finally i suppose the production recording mixing and mastering there were some of these mixes i like better than others but i've already spoken about that um i'm happy with how each of these songs sounded they sounded competently recorded mixed and mastered the vocal qualities were great especially like getting a decent like you know blue yetis are great microphones don't get me wrong but they're not like an SM7B or they're not like a U87 or something like that. Um, but the vocal quality was sensational. Um, the other instruments were recorded really, really clearly. Um, the effects change, the EQing and the stereo, stereo panning and everything was fantastic. The effects change on the vocals. Sometimes they were more raw, like with the acoustic tracks would make sense because that was more vulnerable experience or more needed to be as authentic as, and realistic as possible. But other ones, like I think we had some effects on Andre's voice and Lovely Sarah, which sounded um, again, that Phil Collins is kind of vibe, which suited the tonality of other instruments as well. So great mixture there in terms of recording, mixing, mastering, but it was professional. I'm really happy for it, with it for the most part. And yeah, I reviewed a lot of Christian Stutzig's music uh, from Christian Stutzig Records, but that was my, my various tracks for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy listening to these tracks, please do go check out Christian Stutzig's various social medias and his YouTube page as well as his Bandcamp page. Stay cool and stay safe, and please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. It's either hell more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world, and I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands out.